fight commentary breakdowns. I got a lot more information on the fight that has Xu Xiaodong bleeding with stitches. So what happened was he actually went ahead of time and let them know three days in advance. He just wanted to spar with the best of the best. So it wasn't like he went to challenge them. And I never implied that in my videos. I didn't know why he was fighting them. But what Xu Xiaodong said, and I can translate the full interview if you want to, is that he just wanted to go test out one of the best MMA places. So he was actually supposed to fight five people. And so the guy that destroyed him was the fourth guy, I believe. So this is actually the full sparring footage that I could find. Check this out. This is the first guy he found. So what Shri Sao was saying was these guys were going full speed and full force on him. He wasn't expecting that. He wanted just to tichuo. He just wanted to um, just spar. So this is the first guy. Um, yeah, see? What Shri Sao was saying, wow, those, he, they were just throwing super harsh kicks on me. He felt like they were going super full out. That's what he kept saying in the interview. Or it wasn't even an interview. It was like a vlog he made. So, Xu Xiaodong, in his mind, what he was explaining was he knew he had to fight five people for three minutes each. So, 15 minutes, right? So, he wanted to conserve his energy. That's why with the first guy, he wasn't really going all out. And the first guy looked a little nicer. So, the second guy. And... I don't see what Xu Xiaodong is saying about how these guys were, were fighting him like they were actually in the ring. It seems like a spar session. Xu Xiao, if you hear his reflection, what Xu Xiaodong was saying was that these guys were hitting him like they wanted to kill him. It doesn't look like it. At least the first and second guy it looks like regular sparring. So, it's really cool to see Xu Xiaodong's MMA kind of... And um, what Xu Xiaodong was also saying strategy-wise was he just wanted to block, evade, and then fight. So he wasn't going to purposefully be the one to attack. He wanted to defend and counter hit. That was his strategy. This is the third guy. Um, third guy is doing a lot of teeps. These are all kickboxers, Muay Thai kickboxers. Um, MMA guys, basically. So, And... See, um, Xu Xiaodong says that these guys are going, like... Absolutely all out. It sounds like these guys were trying to kill him from his vlog, but this is just regular sparring to me. What do you guys think? Is this regular sparring? Or were these people... Oh, good trip, Shu Xiaodong. Or were these people actually trying to destroy Shu Xiaodong? Because I get this feeling just from what I was listening to his interview. Shu Xiaodong sound like he was making an excuse. This is the fight we saw, right? This was the fight where the guy just... Maybe this guy really went all out. I don't know. This is where Shu Xiaodong was just... Like he wasn't, he wasn't trying to control the guy's posture, and and that's when we saw that leads up to the other episode we saw where he just got destroyed. So I'll translate a little bit of his reflection. This is reflection. Let's go. So when we were fighting, the coach asked me to pick my own opponents. That's what he said when he went to this MMA dojo. So I said, okay, I will pick. So their best fighters were here, their second best fighters were here, their etc. The top fighters were out fighting. I looked at the best fighters who were in the dojo at the time and i said let's pick the big ones like let's pick the strong ones because everyone keeps saying i pick on old people i, I pick on weak people so that's why i picked those four that i fought and they were the strongest so the moment that we started i felt like something was wrong these kids were just like giving it their all. But I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. Because even if I said slow down, be softer, eventually they're still going to hit me really hard. Because, you know, it's it's beating up Xu Xiaodong. Everyone wants to do it. I don't care. I don't care. You know... If traditional martial arts can beat me the way that these MMA fighters did, then I'd be so happy. So when I was fighting the first person, 
I felt like he used a lot of good power. But I was like, no, I can, I can take it. I feel like they had good strategy, good tactics. And I didn't have much time to counter punch or counter hit. You know? I knew I had to conserve my energy. So I had to defend and then counter hit. And they just really wanted to hit me. I, they were hitting me with all their strength. I, I can't watch any more of this. I'm sorry, but this is just Shri Don't make any excuses. Like, um, maybe the last person, but... Like, is this really, like... I feel like this is just a spar session, man. Like, Shri Don't's hitting them equally hard. What are you talking about? Like, they, they're using all their power to hit you. It doesn't look like it. Like, this is sparring, dude. What are you talking about? Okay, guys. I'm just going to end it here. I feel like Xu Xiaodong's making excuses. I mean, what we do understand from this reflection is that it's not like he went to say, you guys are full of shit, fight me. They talked about it in advance, and there it wasn't like he was being rude, but I feel like he's making an excuse. It looks like it was a sparring session. He bit off more than he could chew. He got destroyed, and now he's saying, oh, these kids are just not respecting an older brother. It seems like that's what he's saying. Let me know if that's what you think. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns, out.